Good morning, everybody. I'd like to show you a journal that I finished last night. And it, this one here is for my granddaughter. And she's eight years old. And this is a Christmas gift for her. She, uh, she loves her cat. And her cat's name is Sonic. And uh, so I made her this pretty little journal because she loves taking pictures of Sonic so she can put her pictures and she's uh, she's quite you know she can write quite a bit and uh, she reads both language French and English out of books so she uh, overly saying that I think she'll be old enough to enjoy this one uh, the Sonic was uh, just some thickers that I um, used my Versamark and um, just sprayed some some not glitter but uh, used some embossing and uh, actually it's a uh, weather wood uh, embossing that I used on that one and I just did a couple of circles and you know put a cat on there and it was a little different because I'm, I'm used to making them much much more vintage in the back I just put her paws of her cat and here I just put her name on it and the year that I made oops uh, the year, her name and the year that I made it right here and these are just the little pot cats and so forth so and as we open it up uh, what I did is I um, whoop, I'll have to check that out what I did is I added a pen to her and again I added a couple of cats on her pen and put her name on her pen put some cats on there though so that was kind of just a just to add a little bit of personal flair to it and some more stickers and I added her a little notepad on it I think she'll appreciate that being about the age that she's in and here I just added some vellum and if she pulls this through I've uh, printed out of the computer some different little games spot the difference and you know on little things and learn cool cat boogie and just stuff like that and I just added that into a little pocket that I made out of uh, of um, uh, see-through adhesive, uh, not adhesive, uh, acetate, sorry. My words are, th are fumbling this morning. And I put a little tab and I said pull to open so she'll know to open this. And like in here I just added her some play fun things for her and she can put a, her picture of her cat here. She can also put more pictures and I added her a little uh, cat uh, paper clip here that she can use. And um, I made them all with, uh, by the way, with craft paper. And um, for the for the base itself for the book, I used chipboard and, and so forth. And uh, like inside here, I cut out a frame. So she and I just put a little picture in there saying add the picture slide here, so she can add a picture in here if she likes. And again, I put acetate over a cutout that I did on my. Uh, on my cut out, uh, cutting machine and here I have another little pocket uh, of overlay here that she can add some more goodies from her cat and give uh, some space and there's a little shaker ball there here I said I added some more cutouts that I did on my cutting machine and another cat and it says don't fetch I don't fetch stop asking and I thought that was so cute and I picked out a big fat cat just sitting on its bum here so I think she'll have a good giggle out of that and here's another pocket for her to put her little doodads and I put a bread there saying love and just a little bit of bling she's a little she's a little she's not on the I should say she's a little tomboyish if that's not a quite a right word to use because she is a she is a little girl in all the other ways. She just she's just a little uh, rather play soccer than play with Barbies. Let's put it this way. Um, but she, uh, she, I think she's really going to enjoy. Uh, and maybe using tomboy was not an appropriate name thing to do for her, but um, name for her. But she's very girly. Uh, okay, so here on this page, I added a um, uh, just a wonderful night. I colored it with some uh, markers but it doesn't show a whole lot but I added wonderful and her little cats just little doodads and little cutaways that I did on my machine and here there's another one here that uh, she can uh, she could add pictures if she wanted to from this side okay and here's a little cat I thought that was so cute this little cat with the uh, with with the glasses on and he, and this one here says what the dog did it 
and the cat is looking with great big eyes. So I thought that was cute. And another pocket here that she can use for herself. Again, she can put anything she would like there. I made her another little secret pocket here with a maze. And again, it's a pocket so she can do whatever she wants with it. And on this one here, I just said friends, it's having a cat nap, so it's stretching out, ready to go to sleep. Oh, you know. And uh, this is another little pocket for her to use. And here is another one that I made for her that she can slip her picture underneath. And I believe it's this way. She she will uh, she will add her picture underneath here. And uh, she has a little picture for her. Or she could add it in here too if she wanted to, but it's made really to be underneath here. Something else I cut out on my cutting machine. And here the, I just put an acetate, so there's another pocket in here. And here it says, uh, reach for the stars. And here's a little kitten, it says perfect in every way. And here's another paper clip with another little pocket in here. And here I did a little different for a pocket. I attached it with some Velcro. And here I added her some little stickers and something to color, a little cat to color, and a cool word search. And, um, and then she can just shut it with her little Velcro here. And out of world, so she can add some more pictures in here, or little secrets, or whatever she wants. And uh, this one here is jumping, and it's saying, I love you, now feed me. And, and it says thanks. So you always have to be appreciative. And there's a little pocket right here for her. Here's another little one that I made and it just says hello. Just a little surprise, hello. And on this one here, I just made it, it it's a BFF, just a little different. And here I just put granddaughter, so this here she can take out and keep for herself to do as a uh, ornament or whatever. And a pocket that she can also use here. There's another little thing that says spoiled and he's just stretching it off. He's spoiled all right. And there's some grass and she can put a picture of her cat in here. And here's another one that I just left open. And what I plan on doing with this one is she loves Tim Hortons um, hot chocolate. So I plan to put her a little gift card in here to because uh, she goes up with her dad on the uh, side by side. And we live in the country and she does too. So I think she'll like that one. And here I just put a little love and a little picture frame that she can also slide a little picture underneath. And I just did the uh, grommet on the sides and tied it with some ribbon. So pretty simple. I was kind of, wasn't quite sure how I was going to make it because of the age. Um, but uh, all in all, you know, I'm very, very pleased. So now I have two of my granddaughters done. One is out of horses and... This one here is for her and the cat. Now I'm going to start off my next one, which is going to be on cats, but totally different because this, this one here is 13 years old. And um, we'll see how that goes. But I always like to make something for them for Christmas. So I hope you've enjoyed this little walkthrough of my journal. And if you're wondering what paper uh, pack that I used, I used uh, Stam Stamperia and I used the blue pack. And uh, I love their Stamperia paper. They're nice paper. They're different. And um, yeah, I really like them. Okay, well, have yourself a good crafty day. And this is Yvonne, and I'm only signing off for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>